What is the number one chord progression we all play as soon as we grab an acoustic guitar? Now it's nice, it's a little bit overplayed, so I found a way to make it sound more sophisticated. Now, of course, guys, don't get me wrong, you know, the strumming thing is absolutely beautiful and necessary, but if we wanna find a way to spice up this a popular chord progression, we can definitely use the finger style technique to add so much more color and beauty to these chords, which by the way, are the E minor chord, C major, G major, and D major. Let's play them like this. For the E minor chord, we have this chord, which is my number one favorite chord. If you know me, you know that I love this chord. E, B, G, G, and E. Second chord, the C major, we're gonna play it like this. Nice open triad. C, G, G, and E. For the G major chord, we're gonna keep it simple. Nice chord with G, D, G, and B. And we finish with a D add 11 chord. Another open triad, we got D, A, G, and F sharp. We're gonna go back to the E minor chord, and then when we repeat the chord progression, we have different chord shapes. The E minor is the same, and then we have this lovely C6. So we have C, C, G, A, and E. Another G major chord, open triad, beautiful, we got G, D, B, and B. Now we finish with the D sus4, which we're gonna play like this, with the D, G, D, and A. Of course guys, familiarize yourself with these chords, just pluck the strings as you want, simultaneously. Beautiful chords. Let's add some rhythm with the most popular finger picking pattern the Pima thumb, index, middle, and ring. So we're gonna pluck each chord twice, which means that each chord will be played eight times. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I want you to focus on the last note of each pattern, which is going to always reveal the next chord. So for the E minor, we're gonna have the string six, four, three, two, six, four, three, and then one with the ring finger. Now the note E, I really consider this note to be the major third of the next chord, which is the C major. So we pluck the E, put down the C major, and we're gonna pluck the string five, four, three, two, five, four, three, and two, the second string open, the note B, which is indeed the major third of the next chord, the G major chord, which we're gonna pluck with the string six, four, three, two, and then six, four, three, and then the second string, but fret number seven, the F sharp, which is the major third of the D add 11 chord. So we pluck the string, and then we arpeggiate the chord, string four, uh, string five, four, three, one, five, four, three, and then with the ring finger, we're gonna pluck the string two, but this time, the note G on the fret number eight. And the reason why I'm gonna use the index finger is because this note is the minor third of the E minor chord. So we go back to the first chord, pluck this note, 
And then we're gonna start the arpeggio on the string six, four, three, one, six, four, three, and then the second string, fret number 10, which is indeed the major sixth of the next chord, the C6 that we are about to play. So I'm gonna pluck this string and I already have the chord down. And then I'm gonna start the P my again. This time I have it on the string number six, four, three, one, six, four, three. And then I have the first string, fret number seven, which is indeed the note B, which is indeed the major third of the G major chord. Now we're gonna play this chord like this. Of course we play the uh, B, and then we're gonna pluck the string four, three, two, first string open, and then we have the string number four, three, two, and we're gonna play the first string fret number five, which is indeed the fifth of the D sus four chord. So you wanna play the string, the fret five with the ring finger, put down the D sus four, and then you pluck D string four, three, two, and one. And then from here we have the melody, so fret number three, two, hammer on and pull off on fret three, three and two. So, second string fret three, and the first string open. So, and we'll go back playing the same chord progression. And we kind of finish um, with a different with a different approach. So we play the fret five on the D sus four, the bass, and then fret seven and six. And the reason why we do that is because after this I'm gonna play a guitar solo and the chord progression is slightly different. Let me play it for you. about today's sponsor Skillshare, the online learning community with thousands of awesome classes. I have been using Skillshare for a while because as a YouTuber, I like to keep myself busy learning new things and I also like to get inspired. And you can find a lot of classes that can really open up a lot of beautiful ideas. You can learn about animation, creative writing, film and video, art, graphic design, music, photography, lifestyle, productivity, marketing. I mean, there is a class for almost anything that you wanna learn. One of the recent classes that I've been taking is from Sorel Amor, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. I mean, she's an awesome, awesome YouTuber. And the class is called YouTube Success, Build an Authentic Channel That's Worth the Follow. And you can access this class as well as all the other classes on Skillshare for free for a limited period of time. First thousand people who click the link down below can access Skillshare Premium for free so you can check all these awesome classes. And then of course, once the trial ends, you can then sign up and keep learning. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Honestly, it's easy to play a solo over this chord progression. I mean, it's just the most beautiful thing, right? It's so inspiring. Uh, we have a bunch of chords, a C, um, add nine chord with the sharp 11 so we have c f sharp g d and e we also have this chord it's a beautiful b minor with the major sixth and the 11th as well so we got b 
F sharp, G, D, and E. We can also consider this chord an E minor 9. A minor 7. And E minor. And we can use a simple Pima. So thumb index middle and ring. finish with the E minor, I mean, the most simple chord. We can finish with the D major. And the E minor. So we just transformed the most popular chord progression on the guitar into something a little bit more interesting. Uh, definitely not better than the strumming. I'm not comparing the two versions of the same chord progression. I think they're both great. But if you want to spice up, uh, you know, your guitar playing, you can definitely try uh, this approach with the finger picking technique. And of course, let me know if you want me to teach you the solo, if you want me to teach you how to solo over the chord progression. That would definitely be a great topic for another video. I'm going to leave you to practice these chords, and I'll see you next time.